Hey guys, what's Garage here? In this video, I'm going to be installing a weighted shift knob from Ray Seng. And this one specifically is the Slammer in blue translucent. Let's go ahead and open up the package. So I've always wanted a weighted shift knob. Uh, I've never had anything this heavy. This in particular is 1.2 pounds. So it's a significant uh, increase in weight compared to the stock one that I currently have. The only other weighted shift knob I've ever had was ZHP knob, which I had on my E36 M3 back in the day, uh, but never had anything this heavy. So here's my stock shift knob. It's nothing special. It's just the original gooseneck shifter. And I do have a short shift kit installed. It's the Auto Solution short shift kit with 20% reduction. And I installed this before I decided on turning the car into a full dedicated track car. But now that I have a track car, I prefer to have the shifter just slightly higher. I thought about just you know removing the short shift kit and installing the CAE shifter. But before moving there, I just wanted to give this weighted shift knob a try. Racing also makes a, an extender, so let me go ahead and open this. So they make two types of extenders. They have, have a shorter one and a longer one that's called Max. So this is the longer version. So this extends the shifter, I don't know, this is about three to four inches. I'll leave a link in the description if you guys want to check it out, see it, the specs on it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and remove this stock shift knob. Hopefully I don't punch myself in the face trying to rip this off. All right, so I got the stock shift knob off. It took me a while. I don't remember it being that hard to remove, but man, I had to pull really hard. Uh, anyways, um, now that the stock knob is off, I have a new shift boot. This is Alcantara. I got it from Kobe Wheel. This is pretty nice. And I um, also went ahead and got a new ring uh, clip here which I just used adhesive and glued the Alcantara boot around the ring. I'm going to go ahead and secure the adapter to the shift arm. And in order to do that, I'm going to use some blue thread locker. And by the way, I just realized I didn't show you guys in detail what the shift knob looks like yet. Again, this is called Translucent Blue, and the model is the Slammer. And it is really nice. This thing is top quality. Um, and it's hard to see on camera, but it really does have this translucent look to it. And again, the weight is its really hefty. It's 1.2 pounds. Secure this with a 15 millimeter. For the final step, before putting on the shift knob, there's a screw here that's meant to allow you to adjust the engraving on the shift knob. In this case, I got the non-engraved version, so I don't have to worry about making the adjustment. So I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. So let's go ahead and put on the shift knob. out the shifting. Wow, it just goes into gear effortlessly now. Look, we've just... Oh, 
definitely feels great. Um, but one downside is the throws do feel a little longer now because of the extended rod. I do kind of like it though. So there you go. Um, you know, I'm really gonna have to test this out on the track to see how I like it. Uh, let's see. My biggest concern is the chance of money shifting. <laughs> you know, I rarely use fifth, but if I do, you know, and shift down to fourth, I gotta make sure it goes into fourth and not second. All right, and by the way, Racing makes a collar that's supposed to go in the bottom here. I didn't see any need of getting that, but it should tie out and make it look a little cleaner. Um, but I don't know. I like it the way it looks right now. Uh, but I hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for more. Peace. Mm -hmm.